I do think that there are some women who just want to work and they sure. want to have that option to work. And I don't, I think that there just should be that option. <laughs> if women, cause I mean, I'm somebody who, yes, I want to be a mother. Yes, I want to have a husband. I do want to have children. That is a desire of mine, but some people do not. And I also have a desire to have a successful business just because I want to prove that to myself. I like working, I guess. Like, I don't know about the traditional workforce, but like, I want to make money for myself. Like, um, I want to be able to leave a relationship if it's not good. So I want to have that option. And I think before it was kind of forced upon women to choose a certain way. And I think women were like, well, just in case I want to have an option. Has it gone to an extreme measure? I think in some cases, yes. When you say you want to be able to work so you have the option to choose to leave a relationship, yes. do you mean in the context of marriage? Um, yeah, any kind of relationship where I might be dependent on a man to support me. Okay. Do you want like a traditionally masculine man? Kind of sounded like that. How do earlier. you define traditional masculine man? Well, I mean, do you do you want like a 21st century kind of like metro feminine guy, or do you want like a you know strong masculine man who's like the leader in the relationship? Like, what kind of guy do you want? What are the qualities of a traditional masculine man? You like, break you, it down. You, you for tell me. me what kind of man. I'll you want. tell you what kind of man I want. Okay. Um, I want somebody who. Um, where there's like mutual support and whatever we feel like our purpose is okay. on earth. Okay. Um, I, yes, I think for me personally, because I do want to have children, I do want a man who, if, you know, we decided to have children, it wouldn't be like financially burdensome for us to have children. And I get to choose like, depending on how much money I'm making at the time, depending whatever, like what kind of man like what his finances are, are or whatever, how, you many, get to how much resources. what his finances are? What do you mean? No, sorry. I get to choose the, wh the kind of man I choose. Like I can look at who their finances and then choose according to that, depending on my situation as well. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like, gotcha. Yeah, no, it, it totally makes sense. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm hearing, you know, it sounds like you want things relatively equal in the relationship in, in many ways, in terms of the power dynamic and stuff. Uh, and you also want equal power dynamics and a lot of equality throughout society, correct? I don't want, I feel like women should feel empowered to make the choices that best serve them. Okay, that's not an answer to my question. Earlier in the conversation, mm -hmm. you know, we've, we've been having this conversation in the context of equality in society, and mm -hmm. you're telling me that you want, like, understandably, an equivalence in the power dynamic with the relationship. You want to be making your money. You want him to be making his. You guys want to be able to mutually support one another, correct? Um, yes, but if I do have a child, I do want to have the option to not have to work. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you want all of this equality throughout society, but also in your relationship, why do you not want equality when it comes to splitting the bill? Um, well, how are you defining equality? Equality is equality a big term. Equality when it comes to splitting the bill, like I pay 50, you pay 50. Uh, again, I don't think that equality means that you do the same thing. I think it means that you bring equal value to the relationship or equal value to whatever the situation is. Wait, can I say something? So if it... If that means you both bring equal value, would that mean you would also pay rent, like half the rent, or would you expect your partner to pay like full rent, groceries, everything like that, even if you're working at the same time? Um, I haven't been in a situation where, I, I wouldn't go into a relationship where I, I would expect my man to pay the rent and pay for all that stuff. If I'm pregnant, so 50 50. if I'm pregnant, um, I mean, it, I think it just depends on your financial situation and who you are with, but. I'm not opposed to going 50-50 with rent. Like if we make like equal amounts of money or whatever, I wouldn't be opposed to sharing. Mm -hmm. I ideally wouldn't choose that. I would ideally like to not have to work, but we don't live in a society where like you can, I mean, you can't, you can attract whoever you want, whatever, choose whatever you want. But no, that wouldn't be like, I have to have it or I'm not gonna be with you. Mm -hmm. If, if, but it depends on their energy. It depends on their ambition, you know, if like, their desire is to do that. Their desire is to provide, to give me whatever he possibly can to take care of me, to make me feel at ease. That energy is more of what I'm looking for than like an actual number. So, okay, so let's say you meet a guy and he's like, yo, I wanna provide for you. I wanna take care of you. He's mm -hmm. happy to pay for the bill on the first date mm -hmm. and the subsequent dates. Mm -hmm. And he's like, this whole like you having a business thing and like mm -hmm. going and working out in the world, I don't really want you to do that, but I am going to take care of you and you mm -hmm. trust him, mm -hmm. and he wants to, you to be like a stay-at-home mom, would you be open to that? I would ask, why don't you want me to work? Well, I can answer as, as a guy who sure. wants a wife who's a stay-at-home mom. Yeah. 
why would I want my wife out in the world working for some random guy when she could be home with me? Like I, I have my own yeah. business, you know, yeah. like I want my woman with me cooking for me, being there to support me, to mm -hmm. take care of me, to hang out with. That's something women are very, very good at when they mm -hmm. dedicate themselves to it. Why would I want my woman out there working at some corporation or whatever when she could be home with me? Why would I want her to do that? Yeah. Um, well, for me, if I'm working some job just to make money, then I totally get that argument no, because it's, it's... You're going, if, if a guy wanted to do that for you and he wanted to mm -hmm. take care of you in that way, would you be open to it? I would say that... Um, the reason that I do the work that I do is because it develops me as a human being and it makes me it is impossible like, to get so a straight answer no. out of you I think yeah. you wouldn't be okay I, I think like you want to that. do I you like to do the well, work I can I chime in go ahead, go ahead. because there's no way I will never not be pursuing my dream and career yeah like okay. I it develops it's you not as a, a job I'm an artist I have to sing I have to donated $100 Sorry for interrupting, but this relates to the convo. Ladies, would you rather be a boss babe woman who goes 50-50 in finances or be a trad wife slash zam who serves her family and husband? Also, do you think you're deserving of a high value man? We'll go around the table on that. Go ahead. Um, you wanna be a stay at home mom or not? You, you said no. Do you believe you're value, deserving of a high value man? Hold on, I don't understand the question. He's saying, do you want to be a boss, What's babe, or do you want to be a stay-at-home stay mom? Stay at home. Oh, stay-at-home mom. Um, I think that... You answered the question already. You, you don't want to be a stay-at-home mom. I will. I would like to be a stay-at-home mom for a part of my life, yes. Okay, while you're pregnant. Do you believe you, you're deserving of a high-value man? Um, yes. Okay. And I get to deem whatever that is. Okay, what about you? Not going to stay home. No yes, stay I'm deserving home. of a... Yeah. Okay, what about you? I would definitely stay home, and I definitely think I'm deserving of a high-value man. Okay. What about you? I would totally stay home, too. <laughs> I'd be cool doing that. Um, what? Well, what is defined mm. as a high-value man? It's a good question. I, I want to know before <laughs> That's I a good question. I mean, I it, like it depends. It value choice. is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, uh -huh. Value is in the eye of a, the yeah, beholder. But, like... That. Generally speaking, you've got slobs in this world, and then you've got dudes that are on top of their business right. that can provide and snap necks and cash checks. I would say that's a high value man, you know, a man with confidence who can get things done. Then, yes, you I think I definitely man. deserve a high value man. Um, I would be a stay at home mom in a millisecond. Um, and yes, I believe that I am okay. deserving of a high okay. I don't want to be a stay at home mom. And I think I'm deserving of a high value man. Okay. All right. So, so, so sorry, I didn't mean to press that. Go ahead. Uh, I think it would depend on the man, to be honest. If they make twice as much as me, then I would be a stay at home mom. Okay. Yeah. How and much? You're, you're a software engineer in Seattle, right? I mean, yeah. software engineers, that's typically a very high earning job. So, um, I don't know if you're at liberty to. You make six figures? Yeah. Okay. 20, and you're 23? Three, yes. 23, so Killing figures, it. pretty good. Good job. <laughs> yeah, software engineers make good money. Um, so you need a guy to make, what, like 300K if um, to, for you to be a stay-at-home mom? Yeah, and I, would, I, I, would, I feel like I would be a good stay-at-home mom, just that I want to be, like, comfortably living, so if I, I... I could stay at home and also do my work anyways, so it sure. really depends on okay. the financial situation. Sure. Um, yes, I would. I don't want to have children unless I have the option of staying home and um, being with them. I think children deserve their mom at home until, like, they're teenagers. So, yeah, and I think I do deserve my value man. Okay. Miss Lux, thank you very much for the chat. Appreciate it. I think you were about to, I don't know if you recall your point, you were about to come in on, or you had come in on something. Oh, you had more to add. Okay, I think, well, I was saying you never want to give up your dreams. Yeah, no way. No way. And the way you were talking about men being... Oh, my. Mm -hmm. Bro, I'm Red telling you... Sports donated $100. Chase face it, equality is whatever copy Kiko says it is. <laughs> Divorce attorneys will be the only winners in her future. Copy Kiko, men do not value your money. We value your femininity. Bingo. A man you will want will not want you. Apologies. Can you scoot into the table a little bit? You're just getting caught up. Yeah, before you go on, I, I want to hear what you have to say, mm -hmm. but the point that he's making kind of touches on what that last super chat was. Pretty much every woman at this cha table just said that you all deserve a high value man. High value men look for high value women. High value women have femininity to offer yeah. a man, support, help, 
uh, Nietzsche said, you know, a man's happiness is I will, a woman's happiness is he will, right? I've found that the healthiest relationships I've had in my life were when a woman looked at me as kind of like the hero in her life and she really admired me and looked mm -hmm. up to me and my dreams and goals and vision were her dreams and goals and vision. And when there's tension there, uh, it kind of, you know, it can tear at the relationship, right? High value men typically are very driven. They're like, they're, they're focused, they're confident, they're on a mission in the world. If you have your own mission that's fighting with his and there's conflict there, like not a lot of high value men want that. High value men want women in their lives that make their lives easier, who they feel supported by, so on and so forth. But if, you know, if a woman's like, no, you know, I, I, I wanna go work and I wanna go do all these things and like, you know, you can go take care of your stuff, but I'm gonna go take care of my stuff. Like, I think it's worth asking, is the kind of man that you guys are looking for. What if the dreams are aligned? Well, then that's, that's a different story. If you guys have a mutual passion, a shared mm -hmm. passion, the same vision and mission, mm -hmm. that's a different story. You know, then you guys can partner in that way. Yeah. Um, someone I know, a man named Michael Foster, or no, it, I think it was actually Jordan Peterson who said this. He said that the best marriages can only have, don't quote me on this, this might not be Jordan Peterson, but so, somebody recently said the best marriages only have one career under the household, mm. right? When you have two careers, two separate missions, this can create conflict. And typically the highest value men in society, like they need a support system. They need a partner, you know, and uh, they don't have a lot of tolerance for women that aren't bringing that like raw supportive femininity to the table. Also, men want to come home after a long day of work and just vent and the woman be there to be like the shoulder to cry on. Like, yes. hey, how was your day at work? And they should be comfortable enough to be like, you know what, work sucked today. Yes. And the woman should always be, well, not always, but in a perfect relationship, I guess, they would be, the man would be, you know what, this is what happened. And the girl's like, okay, well, what are we going to do about it? Yes. How are we going to fix the problem? Yes. Not how are you going to fix the problem so that way I can go and do this? Yes. Like it, <laughs> may I add something? Yeah, 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 go ahead like as a man on a mission in life, like the thing, the thing about high performing men, like there's, our lives are stressful. There's hard stuff, hard problems that we have to figure out on a daily basis. And as career woman, I'm sure you guys understand the stresses that come with your career, right? I know that when I come home from work, especially if I have kids, if I've spent a hard day snapping necks and cashing checks, I want to come home to my wife in the most feminine mood possible. And I'm like, like you said, like I want to be able to come home and vent and her just be like, come here, baby, let me take care of you. But if you're in a position where you've had the stresses from your life and you come home and he comes home and you don't have that feminine energy to bring your man, what is there for him to support him in the relationship? And if you need that supportive energy from him, like if you want a really high value man, like you have to ask yourself, are you gonna be able to get the support that you're looking for from him? Is he going to need it from you? Mm -hmm. Will you be able to provide that to him? If you can't provide that feminine energy to him, what is it that you're offering him? Can you know? I speak to that? Um, and then I want to go back to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to go first? Or? Um, you want to go first? I feel like in response to that, I get what you're saying. And yeah. I think if, if we're asking for more in this way, I understand that it gives and take. I think relationships... A really great relationship is give and take. It's reading the room, seeing what that partner needs at that time versus that partner. Because it shouldn't be one-sided where the man's always venting and the women can, woman can never vent. Venting like, is just an you example. Know. Yeah. So, yeah, and I get what you're saying. And In that, a good relationship, both people are going to yeah. be there to support one exactly. another. Exactly. And I feel like just because I'm saying I want to work and I have a passion doesn't mean I can't also be feminine and support my husband or whatever. And... The way you're taught, and the thing is too, I can't generalize for all women, you can't generalize for all men. Everyone's very individual, very unique, very different, blah, blah, blah. But the way you're talking about high level men and being so driven about their career is exactly how I feel about my career. And I, like, like that's my life, that's everything to me. That is my first love, that's my passion. And to have a partner that will respect that, because I'll be able to respect him because I know the feeling so mm -hmm. well. Yeah. And I know how it feels to be so passionate where you live, eat, and breathe the thing you do. And it takes a lot to be extremely successful. And so I will get it. But yeah, it's gonna be a lot harder because that means there might, we might, there might need to be a babysitter, there might need to be this. That's why I feel like divorce rates are high because women are working in the work force a lot more than they were years ago but at the same time you're talking about women in the 1800s being happier I mean that's a statistic based on 
there was no social media then. It was very hard to be aware. You only know what you know. So they only knew what they knew then. Mm -hmm. But now we we're very aware. And also, it's funny how you say women were safer back in the day because they had men to protect them. But a lot of those men were abusing them. There was a law that was passed Sick in the news. 90s that was about, I'm not going to say the words were not allowed, where it didn't allow men to just force sex upon their wife. This is a real rule that was passed, so they couldn't do that in the 90s. And that's crazy to me, because your man should be your protector, should be the one who's there for you. And so a lot of time, women had to stay in marriages because they couldn't just get a house by themselves. They needed the man to sign off. They needed all this stuff. And they a lot of the time were married to a man that wasn't even actually protecting them and actually abusing them. So You, you keep saying a lot of the time, and I understand what you're saying, the points that you're making. Yeah. Like, and but, also, but I don't have my, statistics, yeah, so it's that, like, that's, that's you know. Thing. Like, when I hear these feminist art, like, they make sense And you to don't me. have statistics either, so they, it's like. They, they make, I mean, depends on what you want to talk about. Right. There's, I could whip out a lot of stats for you, but, like, I hear these arguments from feminists, but I feel like feminists paint the world prior to, like, the 1900s as this world where just all men were beating and raping no, their wives. No, that's not it. Like, it's like the idea, the idea hold on, the idea that, like, a lot of men were doing this, like, my, I mean, my question is, how does it compare it to now? Like, what? Like right. I would love to know those stats because was it more men that are doing it now? To be honest, I don't know the statistic, but I think the thing I'm getting to is women are, I think, more comfortable and confident to speak up because they. It's all about this is the because they see other women doing it or feeling empowered or whichever you know like. Back then, I didn't live in the 1800s. I really don't know what I, was going on. Yeah, I do want to address, because I think you guys have mentioned this a couple times. I mean, there's been a lot of different talking points that have been brought up. Uh, when it comes to physical safety, the way that you feel has absolutely no bearing on anything related to the actual incidence rate of physical violence. Jeez, okay. Yeah, maybe Donated $99. <laughs> Red, as driven as you are, you will likely end up successful and inadvertently by so doing will also isolate yourself from many good men. Successful women also want equal quality men. Successful men want feminine women and don't care about her success. Facts. So, I, can I just speak on that facts. really quick? Ten seconds. Go I ahead. don't agree because I've met a lot of high value men who are very successful that want a woman who has passion and drive and focus as well. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question on that. I can ask the whole table. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Do you think that men lie to get laid? Yes. Do you think men will tell you what you want to hear to get laid? Never. <laughs> Go ahead. Please answer. Please. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I think okay. there's a difference between passion driven and, and what else did you say? Um, well, passion drive and something else. But there's a difference between having that and having a full-time career, like, you know, 40 hours a week, and mm. you're not going to ever be home or, like, be raising the kids or, you know, I think, I think there's a difference. You can have those qualities mm. while still being, like, a feminine woman, like you're saying. Yeah, like, I, so. I'm a f I consider myself very feminine. Like, I'm, you know, especially my music, I talk about very feminine perspective mm. of being in relationships, whatever, but I'm also speaking from a career that I'm assuming, like, we're artists, so yeah. it's different. Our schedules yeah. are very different. We are very artistic, expressive, we're creating. It's just a whole other mindset in life. So I'm only speaking from my creative career perspective. And it's, you know, it's very... I, so, unique. okay, but to, to go back to the whole thing. So you're saying that these really successful men are like super stoked on the fact that you're making money and have a career? I, I yeah. would argue that from a pure practicality standpoint, uh, the more money a man makes, the less he cares about the money that you bring or right. your career. Yes. Whereas a guy who, you know, the economic reality of today is mm -hmm. most households are going to need two incomes. Mm -hmm. So I would argue that actually the less money a guy makes, that might be the type of guy who is more inclined to have some sort of care about the money you bring. If he's looking long term into like, mm -hmm. okay, I want a family, the economic reality, shit's fucked, inflation, mm -hmm. all that stuff, <laughs> we're gonna need two incomes. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm he speaking- He might care, but 
you you specifically mentioned like high earners, and I would argue right. high earners actually the more the money the more money a guy makes, the less he fucking cares about how much money makes. Well, I didn't talk makes. about money. I said okay. specifically passion and your career uh, and drive. I didn't say financial anything. So it's like I'm okay, talking about sure. and and you also said something about what if your dreams align? And I feel like I'm meeting a lot of people who are in a similar career where like the dream musicians. does align. Here's yes. The, here's the crazy thing about like male. And you might, you guys have, may have encountered this. Men in the entertainment industry, especially like in music, if they have, maybe they're a little more established in their music career, they probably want to fuck you and sleep with you, and they're going to gas you up. Oh, yeah, you're such a great singer in an effort to bed you. Hmm. Oh, let me help you produce. I mean, I feel like that's pretty normal among. a lot of... Can you tilt of, the microphone down? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, kind of what you just asked everyone, do you think men lie to sleep with you? I think yeah. that's just a generic question. So it's not even men in the industry. I feel sure. like men across the oh, board yes, might absolutely. gas you up. Yeah, like absolutely. you kind of they just gas asked. You up. But it's, so it's like, I don't really know what the point is. It's like, yes, and that's kind of your choice and to whether you want to vet this guy out and figure out how real he is or not. Because then you can make the argument, like, is there no one real who ever thinks highly of a woman ever? Like, no. There are real relationships and people who really respect women and what sure, they do and care about. Uh, not, unless you're saying there's no such thing and love's not real and relationships aren't real and everyone's in a lie. Like, no, I, I don't think they're saying... I think they're saying that the same men that will say they will sleep with you because of the same career ch um, choice or whatever is not the same type of man that's going to eventually like end up marrying you because of the difference in what he wants versus like like what a typical high value man wants right a woman that will stay home and support him is not going to typically want to marry somebody who has like a career with 40 hours a week not mm -hmm. going to be home a lot so yes those men will sleep with you but a lot of i don't think think it's like you're never going to find someone either i think you're a great person but i think they're just saying like a lot of more career driven men are going to want women with a little bit less of that There's and I, I would just add that i think and it's evident, men and women prioritize different things in terms of what we're looking for in a partner, in terms of what we find attractive. Uh, I think if you want to pursue a career, that's fantastic for you, but in terms of it making you more appealing or more attractive to a partner, like most men, it's, it's very rare that it's ever gonna add, it, it's not gonna make you more attractive, it might, it's, uh, it's almost always going to be a neutral or it's probably just going to, in a lot of ways, going to be a negative. Yeah, 100%. I feel like it depends on the guy. It really does. I know a lot of guys, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, none of them care about a woman's career in terms of like her attractiveness. I feel like there's a lot of high value men that are in relationships or married to women who have a career though. Yeah, they're in They've, relationships or married to, the, the point Brian's making is that it's, for most honest men, a career is not going to make a woman more attractive unless he like wants to be taken care of or like Brian was saying, if there needs to be some sort of like split income scenario where, cause you know, it's, it's expensive to live nowadays. The traits you were describing before, like ambition and drive and all that kind of stuff, those can be very attractive mm -hmm. qualities in a woman for certain men. Like I, yeah. I personally like ambition and drive in a woman. Yeah. Not necessarily applied towards her career though, but as inborn personality traits because like different guys like different types of women. Some guys I know they like like very feminine and soft women that like don't have kind of that like, you know, that edge to them. Like I, I like a woman with like a little bit of an edge to her because it's like there's, there's a drive there and what I want to do, the reason why I like that as a man is because I'm like, okay, I have ambitions and I'm like, how can I sync up your drive towards my mission so that we can really be effective as a couple? Red One Motorsports donated $100. Ready, are you are an artist? Uh, the divorce lawyers watching this are taking notes. Men don't like women who feel the need to be the center of attention oh all God. the time and that radiates from you like nuclear fire. Nuclear you fire? <laughs> you a gold digger 304. Oh, it's kind of a compliment just saying that your energy is like fire. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's on brand for the redheadedness too. <laughs> wow, okay. Is that, is that, does that make sense though? Like what I'm saying? Yeah, but I think my main statement is like you just, you can't speak for all men. I can't speak for all women. No, there are men not. who do want 
women with really dope careers and are ambitious because that means they will understand that much more maybe his career and they can align and they might be both doing the same thing they can go to work together they can do this they can take off when they have a video shoot versus vice versa like it could be helpful and I, nice. I think that would go to her point about like having like dreams shared aligning. dreams yes you know um but yeah, I generally mean generally speaking though, it's not like most dudes out there aren't like, yeah, I want to find a woman with a sick career. It's like yeah. that's not what most dudes care about right. at all. Yeah, can They're, I say yeah, something? Go ahead. Um I mean, I think the reason that a lot of my answers aren't yes and no is because a lot of answers aren't just a yes and no answer. And so for this situation, again, I can't speak for all women, whatever, whatever. And I do think that there is a point there to say like high earners the kind of like dream guy that all these girls are wanting yeah are they going to give a fuck about you contributing to the household income no they have enough money for you exactly and for all the kids yeah. it doesn't matter that's not what i'm looking for that's not what a woman brings saint underscore easy donated 99 dollars. being successful for yourself selfish doesn't lead to happiness you will be rich bored and depressed because you have no purpose in life I know this is true for men, so it will be more so for women. Mm. Stay home and sing a song for your husband. Based. Thank you, Saint. If you want to continue, go ahead. Yeah, I guess what I have to do actually kind of has, what I have to say has something to do with this. Um, yeah, I don't think they give a fuck because women do offer something different than our money. For To a high value man, a woman in her feminine offers something different to a masculine man. Yes. Which is what I personally want because i don't want to go 50 50 in life i want a man who's like i'll take care of you whatever whatever wait I, so you want a man who's like i'll take care of you whatever whatever you want a masculine man but you also want to live the boss babe lifestyle and to have total independence from him if you need it the lifestyle that i you're want, saying contradictory things here so what i was about to say um is that for me pursuing a career career let's just call it that it's more about me being the best version that I can be. If I just stayed at home and didn't pursue music, I didn't write songs, I didn't make content, I didn't try to build a life on my own, I would be a shell of a human being and I wouldn't be able to offer my man the love, the care, the support. I wouldn't have the energy. I know this just for myself. If I wake up and I don't do what I'm supposed to do here on earth, which is to have interesting conversations with people, is to make content, is to sing, to make music, to perform, all of those things I'm not pursuing just to make money I'm pursuing those things because it makes me feel whole and when I'm whole I can give to the men in my life with like more vigor I'm able to be there to support him I'm able because I feel good about myself when I do that can I tell you something sure I'm just gonna be totally honest like I don't think your purpose in life is to like sit around and have good conversations and to like make content and all that kind of stuff. Now, I'm not saying that you can't add value to society by doing those things, mm -hmm. but like I'm not looking for a woman whose sole purpose in life is to make content and have interesting conversations. Mm -hmm. I want to get married and have a wife and build a family. You know, like I want a woman who wants those things and sees her purpose in life as being the mother of our kids, mm -hmm. a great wife, and someone that I can build a super healthy and strong family with. The kind of guy that you're looking for, per, like most high performing dudes, if they're looking for a wife, they don't just want some chick who's making TikToks all day. They want a woman who wants to be the best homemaker and mom and wife that she can possibly be. 